Hello everyone and welcome to Incarnon Arsenal. Today we're going to look at the first weapon in the series, and that is... Burston. My name is Quad, and in this video I will try to show you how good Incarnon Burston is. And I will also share my build of it with you. So let's go. Burston, burst fire rifle designed for precision and deadly efficiency is a testament to ingenuity of the Orokin. Burston's burst fire mechanism allows for quick and accurate shots, making it excellent choice for mid-range combat and headshots. With its 3 round burst, it ensures every shot counts. Due to the fast fire rate and high accuracy, filling up the Incarnon meter should be really easy, but you will have to aim a bit. Incarnon Burston harnesses the power of the Void to deliver destructive force upon its enemies in a form of fast automatic fire that deals heat damage, with some additional radial attack. When it comes to the evolutions, evolution number 2 is absolutely amazing. Firstly, you have to choose between Forceful Finality or Fortress Salvo. Forceful Finality will make your burst on fire a large barrage of shots on the last shot of the magazine. On the other hand, Fortress Salvo will give you two additional punch through points when you play with a Warframe with 450 or more armor. In addition to this, you will also receive additional 42 damage, no matter the evolution you pick. Evolution number 3 comes with three choices, Extended Volley, Ready Retaliation and Kinetic Battle. They're all rather straightforward. Extended Volley increases Burston's magazine capacity by 21, Ready Retaliation halves your reload speed when reloading with an empty magazine, and Kinetic Battle reduces Burston's recoil by 50%. Evolution 4 is where the real fun is. It once again comes with three choices, Reaver's Rapture, Absolute Valor and Fatal Affliction. With Reaver's Rapture you will deal 20% more damage on full burst hit to all future targets, with stacks up with every burst additively to maximum of 100% increased damage, until you reload the magazine. Absolute Valor increases critical chance by 22%, great for making a hybrid build for Burston. And last evolution, Fatal Affliction, will make Burston deal additional 40% damage per status effects your enemy is affected by. This, however, doesn't include the additional 42 damage you get with the first evolution, so only the base damage. And I think that's enough of the specifics, so let's test it out in the game now. For the sake of this video, I went with Fortress Salvo on the second evolution, Kinetic Battle on the third evolution, and Fatal Affliction on the fourth evolution. As I said before, Burston turns into an area of effect weapon as soon as it enters in Carnon form. The damage it deals is only heat, so having additional ways to get status effects on the enemy would be great. This is my build for Burston. It is not perfect, but it does the job quite well. It comes with Serration and Galvanized Chamber for additional damage and multi-shot, Hunter Munitions and Critical Delay for more critical chance and additional slash effects on critical hits, Prime Tread is here for some additional punch through and fire rate, and for the end I also added Malignant Force and Rhyme Rounds for viral effects and Hammer Shot for additional critical damage and status chance. I could add a few more Forma and get better mods on, but the weapon is amazing with the build I have on here. In addition, I also added Arcane Merciless for more damage. In the simulacrum, Burston shows itself as a great weapon, dealing okay damage to napalms on impact, but it shreds them to pieces when it comes to damage over time, which is what this weapon is, perfect for destroying huge enemies in a few seconds over time. I decided to test it out on a Demolist and an Acolyte and let me tell you, the enemies just die. Due to every single hit being a critical hit, you're able to dish out a lot of slash damage with the Hunter Munitions mod. 
so heavy enemies can be non-existence as soon as you fire at them and wait a second. The slash and viral will deal with them flawlessly, while the heat effect stuns them. And no, heavy enemies are not the only ones susceptible to attacks of Incarn on Bursan. The little enemies will die regardless. When it comes to the pros of Incarn on Burston, I would say that the best one is definitely the ammo pool. It has a huge amount of ammo on its Incarnon version if you fill up the whole meter, plus the fire rate is not that fast even with the Prime Shred mod, so you will be in Incarnon version of Burston a lot. Now you might consider slow fire rate being a con as well, but it is not that bad. What is bad is the recoil and accuracy. If it wasn't for its AoE effect, the Incarnon Burston would be very bad because it is not accurate at all. Therefore, if you want, you can get some recoil mods or something like that on the gun. Again, it is not needed at all, but it is better. You can easily do long survival missions on Steel Pass solo with it if you have a Warframe with decent survivability. You do need to aim for enemy heads to fill the Incarnon meter, so it can be a hassle if you are squishy, but it is not impossible. To conclude, Burston's Incarnon version of the weapon is really good and extremely reliable in any mission type you do due to its AoE effect, but it can be hard to survive because of low mobility while you wield the weapon, so yeah, it is perfect for almost any gameplay as long as you can stay stationary for a while. In my opinion, Incarnon version of Burston is absolutely amazing. I started running it in the Undercroft and the Circuit as soon as I got the adapter for it. Being a Mirage Prime Junkie also helps with the AoE effect of the Incarnon version, allowing for some additional crowd control. I recommend investing in it. It really is a good weapon and, more importantly, it is fun. Plus a bit vanilla. But yeah, with this I thank you for watching and please come back next week when we will look at the Encarn on Despair. Amazing throwing knives carried by Stalker himself. Have a very nice day and goodbye.